Okay, hi. I got your uh, shared plan file open in the Chief Architect X7. I don't have a Home Designer Pro 2016, but this just as good. And if you have Pro, uh, you don't need to change any walls. I'm just going to delete that roof plane. Okay, you've got auto rebuild roofs on. Okay, I'm going to turn that off and delete the roof plane. And this little guy here, I'm going to delete that. And you just take the edge, grab the move handle, snap it in place, and you're done. I mean, that's part of the whole reason you have Pro is so that you can do that and edit roofs manually. By the way, your model looks really great. It's a very interesting design. And well constructed for the most part. Now, this other thing you were mentioning, uh, I'm going to turn the grid off. I never use that. Okay, let's see. Let me refresh my memory. Okay, we handled that. Okay. Other issues in, in the interior where the subfloor from the upper level is visible due to the ceiling have, having been raised. So I guess you're talking about this up here. I see some brick up there where it probably didn't belong. Uh, Eric didn't find that. So uh, I guess that's the living room uh, in this area here. Yeah, there's a stairwell. Stairway, but oh, by the way, before I do that, uh, there. Okay, those are just roof lines. I thought maybe they were ceiling break lines, but they're not. Never mind. We'll just take a look and see what we see. Okay, I got the same results you did. Let's check out this dialog box here where the ceiling's higher. And it's set to, okay. You get this kind of a, an appearance when things are out of sync floor to floor. And boy, am I never not ever not good with uh, metric, but uh, finished ceiling is 2733. Now let's go over here to this dialog box over here. That's not that, that's a wall. No, that's a rug. I'm <laughs> trying to find some place where there's nothing, nothing to click on. Okay, I'll just go back here. Oh, there isn't any dialog box. I thought that there would, since this uh, thing here, there, there would be a, an invisible wall here to separate these two spaces. Let's take a look at this in a elevation camera. It's going to left click and drag and then let go of the mouse and we'll just look at what we see. Okay, there's that, uh, there's that, uh, uh, the floor platform of the second floor intruding into the first floor. Well, let's take a take a look to see why that is. We'll go over here to edit default settings. Uh, floor, there it is. This is what controls the ceiling height. You got the finished ceiling at twenty four fifteen millimeters, twenty four hundred and fifteen millimeters. Okay, and that's what you said the uh, predominant ceiling height should be on the first floor, 2415. So let's just check that out. And open this dialog box and see what it's set to. 2415, good. And the default is checked. Let's check it over here. Okay, although this is grayed out and I can't get to it, you know, it's grayed out and it's not Following the defaults, the un uh, defaults are unchecked. Let's check over here. 2415. So this area here is not following uh, your the rules you laid down. Let's go up here 
and do some investigating. Open this dialog box, go to the structure tab, and uh, apparently it's set to default. And uh, the floor is a combination of the ceiling height of the floor below and plus the structural thickness of the platform, so that's, that's fine. I'm gonna go over here to, uh, again, edit default settings for the second floor, floor. Excuse me. So eight should be, uh-oh, uh that's not what the default set to. Get out of this. It's supposed to be 2415 over here, or we're not having a problem. And okay, I'm going to copy that to the Windows clipboard 2415. I'm going to go back up to the uh, up here. And we'll just do this by the numbers. I'm going to go over here to the structure tab and the finished ceiling. Let's see, we want the Let's see. That's the ceiling of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, okay, I'm gonna check it again. That's, okay, ceiling below, oh yeah, this is where I saw it. Ceiling below should be this, what set is the default. And uh, the finish, I don't, you know, if that's what you set for that, that's fine. I'm going to hit the tab key and see if any of these values change. Now I'm going to make sure that these dialogues are, are following defaults. Okay, that one set to the default. I'm just checking to see if these check marks are there. Okay. They are. Good. Good. It should be open below and it is good. And the only thing I've changed is uh, what you set the default for the first floor, but I set it on the second floor. So the second floor is not violating that default, which I think it was doing. One more. Okay, now let's go back to this cross section that I have open. I think it's still open. Now that just seemed to make that worse. Huh. So, all right. I'm gonna measure what this ceiling height is. I don't think it's following the default. I don't think. Now, you, when you draw a dimension like that, see it's not going to the floor, so don't consider it all that accurate until you zoom in and make sure that it's actually measuring to the finished ceiling. Okay, it is. Okay, that's supposed to be 24 something, not 27. Okay. So what's causing that? Let's turn on the reference display. And the second floor is way over there. Just, no, well, let's turn on the, uh, oh, excuse me, not that, walls attic. Walls attic. Okay, it is on. There's no attic walls here. Interesting. Let me go back to the overview. Uh, okay, yeah, the second floor is over here. And this is all first floor. 
Let's check the forge. This should be slightly lower than the house for drainage purposes. And you got it set the same level as the house. That's not a good idea. Let's drop it a few millimeters minus uh, six. This is not a big significant change, okay? Everything else is set to default and looks just fine. That floor height of the deck was a minor consideration. It's an important one, you know, in a real house. Water would just run right in the house if the decks and porches are on the same level as the house. Let's see. So that's where the second floor starts. Yeah, that's where the second floor starts. And you can see the ceiling up here. Your crown mold is here. Something's forcing that ceiling up. And I don't know what. I, I think a good start would be to use some invisible walls and section some of these things out. Like this is the kitchen. I'm going to put an invisible wall across here. And we'll name this kitchen. Okay. I'm going to turn the reference display off. I'm going to turn roof planes off too. I don't think the roof planes are being a problem. Roof planes, base lines, they're off. Okay. So th now I have a kitchen and then, oh, there should be a, a, some invisible wall. Oh, let me go back to this camera. Well, I guess you could have it open if you wanted to. But how is that? Oh, you've got that open below, that's why. I would model this uh, myself. I would probably use a wall and, and put it underneath the uh, stairwell. Bring that under here a little bit. Well, we'll just... Uh, We'll just drag that wall over. And it, with it being under the edge, the stairs should cut that wall, yeah. And then if you wanna put a little door in there, you could make, or you could leave it open. Yeah, I, I would put a wall there. And also I would put a wall there for the, so that I could create a room here and open its dialogue box and uh, Make sure it doesn't have a ceiling. We don't want a ceiling and a stairwell. It's not really gonna change anything that much. Let's specify this, let's call it living room. I doubt that that's gonna make any big difference, but. Everything else is grayed out. Ceiling values may not be changed at the floor above. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna probably get some flack for this, but then uh, one way to handle this, see, there's a crown mold and there's where the ceiling should be and isn't. I'm gonna go back to uh, plan view and click in here and then uh, I'm gonna go over here to the edit toolbar and I'm gonna make a, uh, not a room molding polyline, just a room polyline. And I'm going to convert that to a slab. Okay, I'm just going to make it um, 10 millimeters thick. I have no idea what 10 millimeters is, but that, that'll do. I'm going to set the material to drywall. Right. 
Maybe you don't have drywall in this plan. Let's see if you have sheetrock. Okay. <laughs> How about white? All right. Yeah, okay, we'll use white. Okay, before I close this, I'm gonna, there's the thickness and there's the elevation. I want this at 2415, the ceiling height. So elevation at the top, I want the elevation at the bottom to be 2415. So I'm gonna, this is 100 millimeters thick, so I'm gonna add 100 millimeters, like that 2514. Voila. That's perhaps a squirrely way to do it, but it's workable. Uh, I wanted to, I could take this, I'm gonna lower it a couple of minute, millimeters, just for appearance's sake. We'll go, uh, oops, I don't want that, I want three. Okay, I just wanna get rid of that line there. I'm going to drop it some more. <laughs> well, it's thicker than it looks. How about 2,500? Okay, that looks better. <clears throat> now we got a little anomalous looking thing over there. And then we really want this uh, to protrude into the next room. So I'm going to click on this polyline and just extend it into the neck over the kitchen. We'll go back to, that's a way to clear it up. Now it's not really addressing the problem, but I don't know what the problem is. I've looked and looked and looked, checked the settings, and uh, that's a way to fix it. See now, I put a ceiling in there at the specified height and that appearance wise at least handle the problem you don't need that so i recommend that to you let's look stand over here and look back the other way yeah that, that's it's a work what we call a workaround that's a custom slab and Maybe these blinds have to come down and to the actual ceiling instead of the what it what those objects think it is the ceiling. Well, that went out of control. I undo, by the way, to bring that line back. There, yeah, that's better. Anyway, you have to line those up with the new uh, fake ceiling and so forth. Anyway, I hope this helps you. Uh, I don't know why things are screwy. Maybe somebody smarter than me could figure that out, but I also offered you a solution in terms of uh, just finishing this up and moving on to, you know, with the rest of your life instead of making this a big problem. Uh, Perfection in this software is often difficult to do. It's attainable, but you really have to stay at it and demand it uh, and create solutions. Anyway, have a good evening. Thanks for watching.